uh, November 20th, 2011. This is an informal demonstration of making of an Athenatite print. I have here a piece of Arches Platine, and the first thing we're going to do is put a small amount of fume silica onto the paper, and we're going to use a dry coating method. So I'm going to put about a heaping teaspoonful of the fume silica onto the paper. I'm going to use a what we call a hot dog roller. It's a high density foam roller. Home Depot, Lowe's, most hardware stores carry them. Now when you roll this on, it is a very, very fine quartz powder and it is acting almost like a, a fluid. It goes on uh, because it's so fine and so small, the particles are down in the size of a of cigarette smoke. You know, five, uh, five microns, that kind of very, very small uh, particle size. <clears throat> what this is going to do is going to temper the size surface of this Arches Platine and provide a light trap when the print is finished. Uh, it'll also hold a little more solution on the surface and there's documentation at uh, www.thecarbonworks, C-A-R-B-O-N-W-O-R-K-S, slash blog. Uh, that's the blog for Bostick and Sullivan. Now I'm rolling this on and as you roll it on it looks like it disappears but if you touch it with your fingers it feels like soft velvet. We've put a very thin coating of it on. Now, uh, Maddie, what's the uh, formula for the last time we were using? The last one was three to one plus two drops okay. of tween. Okay. So oh, no, the I'm last? Gonna, at three to one ratio. Yeah. I'm going to do six, six to three of the guanidine ferric oxalate. That's three four, five, six, and then we up the silver nitrate. This is 12% silver nitrate, and three. that is my note keeper on his three. Yeah. Add one more? Sure. Okay. Okay, we're still experimenting with the amount of silver and it appears with this dry coating of the athenotype that having uh, a little excess silver does not hurt. Tween, tween. Tween, okay. Got Four. My. Four drops. Four drops. 10% tween 20. One, two, three, four. That's pretty powerful stuff. What that will do is help the uh, material uh, smooth out. It's a spreading agent. It's a wetting agent. Uh, now, I'm going to coat this with a foam brush. I'm sure everybody that's ever made a platinum print or a cyanotype is familiar with these. Uh, I'm going to dry it a little bit on this paper towel if it's been damp. And the trick to coating a silica coated piece of paper, especially with the dry, is to brush it very, very well and very long. At first when you put it on, the silica is soaking it up and it doesn't feel like you're going to coat the whole piece of paper. And you will see streaks all over the place. Uh, those streaks will even out as you coat. You need to keep brushing for a long time. I can see with the light coming off this, uh, the streaks, but as it starts to dry and I brush it, it will smooth itself out. The silica is still very experimental, but astounding results have been gotten with it with uh, platinum and palladium and other processes. Uh, it also has seems to have a tendency in a few short experiments to make papers that are not conducive to making platinum prints. Uh, uh, make platinum prints uh, that will 
neutralize the paper, even though it is quartz. Uh, there is a pH system called Lewis and something that our good friend Howard Effner told me about and I do not understand it. It's very complex chemically and it is pretty odd that, see, uh, the quartz would have a pH to it but it tends to, for some reason, neutralize. Now as I'm brushing this, this is a very, this is Santa Fe, New Mexico. It's cloudy outside but I don't know what the humidity is in here but it's probably under 20%. Uh, it's a very dry climate here. Uh, I used to say that uh, we live in a partial vacuum, but my two children, grown-ups, adult children, say it's all in my head. Uh, I'm not sure what they're trying to say about that. Now, as I brush, the streaks that I saw are starting to disappear, and it's starting to have the look of, of, of suede leather. Uh, the silica is a pretty odd material. It is perfectly safe. It's quartz, so I don't think anybody would have any question about the archivalness of, of it. Um, it's used in food. Uh, the Wikipedia thing on fume silica says that it's used in uh, dairy desserts, uh, foodstuffs, cough syrup, hair, uh, shampoos, uh, for thickening. Uh, it's not a very expensive material. It's still very odd. It's uh, one gram of this material. Uh, I'm letting this dry a little bit. This one gram of this, which is about what you see, uh, probably ten times what you see there, has a surface area of uh, uh, a football field, which is pretty astounding. The uh, our friend Josh Partridge's brother is a physicist, uh, and he was explaining to Josh what uh, how this stuff works. And when it's dry, it'll add it'll the light will hit the the the, the very invisible surface there, but the silica will trap the light. In, in, in the material giving you a better D-Max and a little more contrast. This is similar to why a piece of black velvet is very, very black and oftentimes photographers will take pictures of calla lilies or something laid on black velvet because it does not reflect light back and it's because the velvet has fine particles. Uh, what we're going to do now is dry it with a hair dryer We want this very dry. supposed to put your fingers on it because it's silver nitrate and the silver nitrate will stain your fingers. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to let this sit for a minute. I, I should be doing this in lower level light than we have here. No, it's okay. Leave it on, Maddie. Uh, we're having the light on for the video and we're probably not going to get any effect. I'm letting the the, the evenness, because a hair dryer may dry spots a little bit more than others, uh, so I want to get a more even drying and while it's letting it temper here for a minute, this process is called the athenotype. Uh, this material is guanidine ferric oxalate. Uh, again, uh, if you go to www.thecarbonworks, C-A-R-B-O-N-W-R-O-R-K-S slash blog uh, and click on the category in the blog of Athenotype, you'll get the formula.